Welcome back to Creative Excuses. Everybody wants to know, is the Arcanist any good? I think it is, at least for my use cases, but I also want to talk a little bit about why I think the Arcanist is almost purposely designed to be better in content than on a parse dummy. Let's jump into it. If you haven't seen all the videos I've done playing the Arcanist already, pause here, go watch one, and then come back. What I'm going to say is going to make a lot more sense, at least when talking about the solo build. So let's start with the good. Contrary to Deltia, I think that Zoss absolutely nailed the Oaken Soul Arcanist feel. It feels entirely different than any of the other classes with the four second channel time and the reliance on keeping up a sort of semi-spammable heal while beaming. Honestly, it's been a joy to play for a couple of reasons. The first reason is simplicity. The one bar Arcanist is incredibly simple to play. Keep your buff up, keep your two dots up, beam, heal, beam, heal, beam, heal, etc. As far as button mashing goes, it is by far and away the easiest class to play with the lowest actions per minute. It is lower actions per minute than even a heavy attack build, which is nuts. Before, I've told you that I was not a huge fan of heavy attack builds because they hurt my hand to play. Well, my hand pain has actually gotten worse, and now heavy attack builds are about even with light attack weaving builds for me, so I play both pretty often now. The Arcanist, though, is downright comfy to play. No need to mash the left click for an hour to go through a dungeon. No need to tap a skill once a second every second. The simplicity is beautiful for my hand pain and makes the class that much more enjoyable for me. The second reason is the feeling of power. The build also feels incredibly powerful, even as I know my heavy attack builds are stronger in almost every way. They're more survivable and higher damage, but they don't have the same kind of burst damage that this class has, which makes the Arcanist feel incredible. Popping a Gazer Beam ultimate and a fully cruxed up beam feels super strong, because health bars just melt. It's like firing off a Ballista and a Toxic Barrage at the same time, which I would love to do. The main solo heal also feels really powerful, quickly popping you back up to full or almost full HP every time you hit it because it effectively has increased crit chance due to its healing three separate times, not including its heal over time. Couple that with the boosted shield strength and it's pretty easy to stay alive and keep pumping out those super satisfying beams. The Oakensoul Arcanist is not the most powerful Oakensoul build. I would still say that is a heavy attack warden, which I've used to tank duo hard mode Black Drake Villa, the bear's lightning at the last boss for the Enclave on Veteran, and even clutched out a VDSA run when my team all died on the last boss with over a million health to go. That is the strongest build. But this one bar Arcanist beam build that I've put together is the build that I want to play to go do world bosses, to run Vodash run hollows, to do vet dungeons with, because it doesn't hurt to play. It feels strong, and it still gets the job done really well. Now, that's what I think about the one bar solo experience, which is what I've done the most on, but what was it that I was saying about it performing better in content than on a dummy for damage dealing and parsing at least? There are a few skills, I think, that set the Arcanist up to be better in content than on the dummy. The first is their armor buff, the Crux Weaver armor, which generates Crux every 5 seconds when you take damage. It's possible to take advantage of this on a parse by using damage health potions, but that's pretty cheesy. I don't know for sure if this armor buff and the Crux generates are worth more than casting a dot because the math is tough, but I suspect it's better than many dots. Here's my thinking. Assuming we're using our crux for the beam, then one crux equals about four ticks of the beam. I tested this by testing damage numbers on a 300,000 health dummy, multiplying an individual tick by 12, which was the maximum number of ticks combat metrics could see when using the beam. At range, it was often 11 ticks, which was odd, even though my beam and target was stationary with no movement. So if you're playing at range, this math might change. Then I found the difference between each crux and how it affected those damage numbers, averaged those out, and then divided by the base damage at zero crux. That gave me a number of 4.079, and that's without any armor, jewelry, or weapons on. So, assuming one crux generated is equal to four ticks of the beam's tooltip, 
then Crux Weaver armor is worth a maximum of 20 ticks of the beam, but probably more like 12 to 16 ticks in case you overgenerate Crux or you don't take advantage every fifth second and lose some value there. For reference, 12 ticks of the beam is worth about 18,396 damage on this tooltip. With these same stats, that is around double or more the value of most damage over time skills in the game. The few exceptions may be Barbed Trap, because it applies minor force and gets extra hemorrhaging damage, and a fully charged 30 second carve cast because the dot lasts so long, and even that carve bleed plus direct damage is only even with Crux Weaver. And that is Crux Weaver at only generating three Crux. It can generate up to five. If you manage to generate five Crux from Crux Weaver and use all five of those on beams, then you will get 30,660 damage from this skill at these low tooltips. For reference, the tooltip of the 8 second Tide King's Gaze Ultimate is 34,153 because it takes 17 times. Crux Weaver armor at maximum value hits almost as hard as an ultimate, assuming you use all the Crux on the beam. So this is the first reason why I think the Arcanist should be better in content than on the dummy unless you cheese it with damage health potions and you're just a god tier player. The second reason is the other major crux consumer, Tentacular Dread. This is a debuff skill that lasts 20 seconds and if you consume three crux when you cast it, you get an 11% damage buff against targets with Abyssal Ink on them. The important part here and the important part that would need testing is that it is a debuff not a buff. It is applied to the target as Abyssal Ink, and the tooltip states you deal X% percent increased damage to enemies drenched in Abyssal Ink. This has two possibilities then. One is that the debuff is like a minor or major vulnerability that only Arcanists can use. So if there are two Arcanists in the group, one can apply the debuff and both get to use the damage increase. The question is going to be, do you deal X% percent more damage to the target based on the morph of the skill and whether you consumed Crux or not, or is the percentage boost attached to the debuff that's placed on the target? For example, can a healer consume three Crux to cast Tentacular Dread and give all Arcanists in the group an 11% damage increase? Or is it based on whichever morph you have? Or is that debuff not shared across the group at all? If it's not shared, then what I've just said is unimportant. But if it is shared, and the damage increase is determined by who casts the debuff, then again, the Arcanist will be better in content than on the dummy by a good margin, because somebody else can consume Crux, and you get their damage buff. The last reason the Arcanist is significantly better in content than on the dummy is their class damage over time skill for PvE DPS, which is Fulminating Rune. The damage over time sucks on the dummy a lot like the sorcerer's liquid lightning and lightning flood because some of the power budget for the skill goes to the synergy. Fulminating Rune has a wildly powerful synergy where three people can activate it. That synergy can pop three different times. That makes the tooltip for this skill, in content, with the same stats as we were talking about before, 24,728. That beats out an entire four second beam cast at zero crux, and even beats a beam cast at one crux. But you need three people activating the synergy every time you cast it to get that value. So again, the Arcanist is better in content than on the dummy. I think the other content creators that are talking about the Arcanist are right, that there needs to be a buff of some sort to the class, probably in the form of another crux consumer in the damage tree of the skill. I think the best option here would be for Recuperative Treatise to consume Crux once every five seconds that gives a major buff, like Major Heroism, Major Berserk, Major Force, etc., for 1.5 seconds for each Crux that is consumed. This would enable a no-beam DPS that can use class skills well and deal better damage because right now, there are not really any good Crux consumers for yourself as a damage dealer if you're not beaming. Alright everyone, I really do think that the Arcanist is a really solid class. It's just a class that's hard to test outside of doing actual content because so much of it is dependent on being in content, getting damaged, probably having someone else buff for you, and other people taking synergies. The one bar Arcanist is super fun to beam everything with, and I think the damage dealing Arcanist will be much better in content than on the dummy. 
Let me know what you think of the Arcanist's power in the comments below. And if you like this video, hit that button. And if you didn't, hit that one instead. If you want to see more of my videos, go ahead and subscribe and click on one of the videos on the screen. Until then, I'll see you all in the next excuse.